I'm Arthur Maumani. I'm an architect and a teacher based in London. At Maumani, we work with parametric design and machines and try to unite all this into a system to learn about materials and create sustainable design based on natural processes. We're both designers and also the fabricators of our projects. We have Mamumani, which is our architecture studio, and downstairs we have our fabrication space. Having a prototyping facility downstairs allows us to set up an empirical loop in which we can constantly iterate and fail and learn. It's really an integral part of innovating and creating new things from failure. We're collaborating with Dassault System on an experimental research project that will end up as an installation, which will describe the life cycle of materials and apply technology to understand the science behind it. Dassault well, System have an online platform, 3D Experience, which is a suite of apps for designers, and they were curious to understand our workflow. They are developing a parametric tool called XGen. It allows to create parametric models within the Dassault System suite. The installation is made of a dynamic grid of 3D printed modules and cascades through that space as if it was taken by the wind. As part of the installation, we'll have a 3D printer on site that will be printing modules in bioplastic PLA made from fermented sugar. When the PLA comes, it comes in pellets and then we print it into objects. The material that we used, it's renewable. It comes from renewable sources that are sustainable, contrary to petroleum-based uh, plastic. The advantage of building with 3D printing for architecture is that you can print on site. It's also much more efficient because it's directly linked to your computer models. There will also be a plastic crusher on site, showing people how recycling can be done on a small scale. The plastic crusher allows us to take a piece that's already printed and bring it back into the pellet form that allows to print again. From 3D printing to crushing to composting, we wanted to show all the states of the material that is ultimately a renewable cradle to cradle and sustainable life cycle. Dassault System had this really wonderful tool that allowed us to put science and metrics behind life cycle assessment. It allowed us to compare different materials, different approach, and all the different advantages and disadvantages of each. It's very important that designers start thinking beyond the time frame of their project. They need to start thinking of where the material came from, where is it going, how can it be reconfigured. The entire life cycle of this project needs to be taken into consideration.